Hey all, welcome back. Happy New Year. It's good to see everybody in 2023. So for the beginning of the year, I've been playing around a little bit with Phoenix Live View on one of my projects. And something that I figured out how to do uh, three different ways is how to capture copy paste events. So Two, are, two ways I have that have certain drawbacks and the third way is really gross and I tweeted a little bit about that. Um, but uh, let's go through each of the three different methods. So in order to test this, I've created a live view. And so here's what you can see. Um, this is basically just a live view in an empty, uh, empty live view project. Here we've got the render, which produces the website that we see on the right hand side um, and basically I'm going to have the top section pasted with message here which will show us um, whatever we manage to get if we obtain a pasted message and here I've just got a paste frame I've omitted the CSS but um, and the paste target is this thing so this red box is the paste target I'm going to click on here and then control uh, V content, which will wind up being the pasted content. Um, and I've left a little space here for some script that we may have to write, and you'll be able to see um, what we have to do in order to get this to work. So the first way I'm going to show you is with uh, a library called Phoenix Custom Event. I'll put a link to Phoenix Custom Event below. Um, the reason why I like Phoenix Custom Event is because it really uses HTML standards, um, HTML5 standards. Um, and kind of the reason why I hate Phoenix Custom Event is that you really have to, um, you have to install it via NPM. So the NPM library is phoenix-custom event hook. And the way you do this is you do import Phoenix Custom Event from Phoenix custom event hook, which is this line here. And then in your live socket definition, you have to set up a Phoenix custom event hooks uh, into your a Phoenix custom event into your hooks. So that's, uh, that's that. Um, that's all you have to do in the app.js. So you might think that what you can do is to use the documentation of the Phoenix custom event hook which says to do the following. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna put into our paste target, phx hook equals a Phoenix custom event. And then we're going to make a phx send events. Uh, um, and then we're going to allow it to send the paste event. So this is what you would think it would do. Uh, what you would think you would do based off of the documentation. So let's go ahead and uh, run this and see what happens. So I'm going to copy paste some content. Let's copy and then we're going to paste. And unfortunately we failed and we got this like empty, empty map. So why is that happening? So why that's happening is because when you create this Phoenix custom event, right? And it will correctly trap the paste event but the payload of the paste event doesn't conform to the custom event or, or uh, Phoenix event, um, event data structure. It's in fact a copy uh, clipboard paste event, or it's a clipboard event. And so, um, and that doesn't have anything, any fields that are serializable into something that's useful for the handle event um, uh, handler that we've written down here. So in general, what we want to do is we want to get something that's got, uh, and in fact, what happens is it just passes like an empty map because that's what the uh, clipboard event gets serialized to. So in order to do this properly, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually put the, um, the Phoenix custom event um, hook into this extra tag. So let me go ahead and do that. So we're going to move this to here, and then we're going to have to write some amount of JavaScript code. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and let's take a look at what that is. So in the script, we've assigned paste target and paste extra um, to these two uh, containers, right? 
And um, yeah, so that's right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an event listener to paste target. And then what we're going to do is, oops, uh, what we're going to do is I will just copy paste this stuff. And we'll go over the code. And what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the paste event. That's sort of a built-in HTML event. And it's going to send this event. This now, now this event here is going to be a clipboard event. And so what we're going to do is we're going to recraft a new event that we're going to send v, uh, via the paste extra div, right? And then that is going to be a paste custom event. And the payload that you send is in this detail field of the options. And we're going to craft our new one is going to be pasted. And then we're going to grab the data out of the clipboard event by calling the clipboard data member and then calling the get data function on that. And we're going to only get text plain data. Then we're going to take this new crafted event and then we're going to dispatch it to the paste extra. Uh, uh, tag, which is over here, uh, paste extra um, container, which is here, and that's got the PHX, uh, the Phoenix custom event hook. We're using the Phoenix custom event hook as a channel to send data back down to our live view. Okay, so let's reload this and then see what happens when we try to copy paste some stuff. Doesn't matter what it is. And now you can see we got the stuff that we copy pasted. Um, directly by bouncing it off of this paste extra uh, field. So that feels a little bit awkward. Um, maybe it feels like we shouldn't be using a second container just to get this information over. Well, let's take a look at what a solution would look like if we didn't want to use the second tag. So we're going to do this the way that Phoenix wants us to do it. And the way that Phoenix wants us to do it is by creating our own custom hook that specifically handles this situation. And the reason why this is good is because it limits the surface area by which somebody could like break into the console and start sending arbitrary messages down the pipe because all of this stuff is uh, kind of bound in at compile time or at, at bundling time into your app.js and you're not really creating too many other ways to interact with uh, with your code. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to create a new hook and we're going to call it the paste hook. And let's assign paste hook. And let's go over what that assignment looks like. So paste hook is going to be just an object it's got a mounted callback, which is what the, um, the hooks field expects. The mounted uh, callback does the following. First, it will assign a convenience variable called target to this. We're going to um, dereference the L field of target. That's the element that, um, that, that triggered the hook. And we're going to add an event listener. At, uh, so this is on, at mount time. And the event, the event listener is going to listen to the paste event. Now the paste event is that same um, HTML, uh, HTML uh, five um, event, and then um, and this event is going to now be our clipboard event. And like before, we're just going to create a payload. That payload is going to uh, encode the pasted field, and the pasted field will. Um, have the uh, data that we get from the clipboard data member of the event uh, object. Okay, uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna only receive text plain data. Finally, we're gonna use push event, which is a special uh, um, callback that is given to you by the Phoenix hooks, and this allows us to avoid creating our um, custom events, and instead just gives us a place to put the um, name of the event and the event payload. So in some ways, this is a lot simpler and is really what Phoenix wants you to do. Um, yeah, so then we need to add PHX hook, paste hook. Let's reload it. 
and see what happens when we try to just copy some information and paste it. Ah, there we go. And we can see that it worked. Okay, so now let's look at the third way. Um, I would say that the third way is really gross and I don't like it. Um, but um, it is really the only way you can do this, as far as I know, without mucking around the app.js or um, without mucking around the app.js file. Um, and you'll see why this is um, kind of kind of gross. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of this PHX hook here. And what we want to do is we want to take our extra div element here and create a PHX click um, uh, uh, hook with the word paste. Okay, so what this will do is when we click on this, um, when we click on this uh, element, it's going to send back to our live view a paste event. So we're basically attempting to hijack the, um, we're attempting to hijack the uh, the um, the click. Uh, callback using paste. All right, so we're going to now add an event listener um, onto the container that accepts paste. So what that means is paste target add event listener. We're going to listen to the paste, uh, the normal paste um, event. This is what HTML5 sends us. And then um, we're going to uh, retrieve the paste data. And the way we're going to retrieve the paste data is exactly in the way that we do it in our other code, which is to um, grab the payload. Well, we'll just grab all of this. Okay. And instead of uh, pushing it, pushing this event to paste, what we're going to do is we're going to um, set the PHX value paste attribute of the hidden container to the paste data. So uh, paste extra dot set attribute, and then we're going to do PHX value paste to. Uh, uh, sorry, pasted to this content. Okay. And then we're going to dispatch a click event to the hidden container. So that means we're going to do paste extra dot click. Finally, we're going to cancel the normal paste event uh, operation so event dot uh, cancel default and that should be D and so in the live view yeah so so that's what we should do and then let's refresh it and see what happens Okay, so how did that work? Basically, what we did was we um, we uh, we trapped the the normal paste event in the in the target uh, element, which is this guy, this red, this big red box. Um, then um, we retrieved the clipboard data as we did before, and we're setting an attribute on paste extra to be the payload text. And the specific attribute that we're setting is PHX value pasted. And what that does is that whenever you have a tag that has PHX value and then some content here, this um, will be the key and this will be the value for some payload that you're going to send and that's going to wind up inside this, uh, in, inside this parameters field. So this is just a way that Phoenix Live View has given you to add to augment extra data onto your, onto your uh, payloads. And then we're gonna hijack the, uh, the um, PHX click callback by using paste extra.click. So 
I think this is uh, by far the uh, grossest way of doing this. Um, but the nice advantage is that it really doesn't require you to muck around with app app.js. Notice that in this implementation, nowhere did we have to go back into app.js and, and mess things around. And there could be various reasons why you want to do that. You may or may not want to necessarily um, uh, have to manage deploying uh, different JS files for, to, different, um, to different places. Or if you're writing some sort of component library and you just want to literally bundle, bundle your JavaScript into a script that uh, is delivered with this render function, that might be a good way to um, do that very simply, right? So um, you don't have to have the consumer of um, you don't have to have the consumer of of the JavaScript um, muck around and bind uh, their app.js into or whatever JavaScript file they want to deliver. Um, into some uh, file that exists inside of your own delivered directory. So this is kind of this is kind of like a cheap way of of making bundling your your code easy and still be able to support um, pasting operations. Of course, that means it won't be minified. Um, so so um, you know uh, use with use with caution. Okay, so that's all I've got. Um, Hope that was useful. I did not find any other resources online as to how to get Phoenix to um, to accept pastes. Uh, if you do know one that you you like in particular, link to it below. I'm happy to hear uh, hear of other ways of doing this thing. Um, you know, or if you have other recommendations or suggestions, please feel free to uh, post your comments um, below. Hopefully someday uh, the Phoenix framework will uh, Phoenix Live View framework will give you sort of a native way to handle copies and pastes, um, but uh, as of right now, that's not not the situation. Um, I think it would also be nice if Phoenix framework gave you or Phoenix Live View gave you a way of um, of sending events to uh, to the uh, to the Live View. Th without having to mount necessarily mount a um, a component, and I know that's tricky because you want to limit the surface area of all the possible things that could come down into um, your live view. But I feel like there are probably ways you can figure out how to manage that effectively. All right, um, see you around.